So I officially retired my favorite coffee mug. I bought it a couple of years ago and the saying on it was hilarious because it was so true, right? And it quickly became my favorite. It said, I used to have a handle on life, but it broke off. And I've spent the last couple of years really trying to change that. For me, one of the catalysts for this type of change was my youngest graduating high school. He graduated early, so it happened a lot faster, and I wasn't prepared for it, and it kind of caught me off guard. See, I was on my own on my 17th birthday, like literally kicked out of my house on my 17th birthday, and I had my kids when I was 19 and 21, so I have spent my entire adult life putting everybody else first. I went to college, I got the real job, and then I became an entrepreneur so that I could make enough money and be present in my children's lives and raise good humans. And I did that. My kids are amazing people. And, you know, I know we're never really done as parents, but that moment was when it all kind of crashed home for me. Decades of telling myself that I would worry about it later when they were grown up. And now here it was. 15 years of busting my butt and I wasn't where I wanted to be. I wasn't where I told myself that all this hard work and sacrifice was going to get me. And it was finally time to work on me, right? It, and that was a lot of work. After doing it, though, I have an understanding of what it means to heal your mindset, of what it means to heal and recover from burnout, and it is life-changing. I can enjoy new experiences now that I wouldn't have been able to do before. Like, in January, I went to TNC in Vegas. That is a very loud city, a very sensorily overwhelming city on top of being at this big event and meeting all of these new people and going to the after parties and doing networking in the VIP lounge. And it was a lot of people. But I managed it the whole time without being overwhelmed, without being burned out, without, you know, running out of steam. I had all of the tools in my toolkit to help me manage and I got through it all. And I met some really amazing people. I've also found that one thing that changed was I don't enjoy self-deprecating humor anymore. I enjoy lifting myself up. I enjoy lifting other people up instead of tearing people down. Even if it's a joke, it, it gets into your subconscious. Your brain hears it and it starts to believe in it. I've also gained the ability to hold space for other people, to let people experience big emotions in my presence without me getting, you know, weighed down, bogged down, and pulled into a spiral of emotion with them. And this is like drastically transformed how my relationship with my children, with my spouse, with, you know, other people in my family, I'm able to be present in the conversation and help other people through big emotions. I handle stressful situations significantly better. Bad things will still happen. I still have moody days. It's not like I'm riding high at like 100%, you know, every single day. I still have these moments, but I recognize when they're happening. I have tools to work through them faster and they don't pull me down as far or as long as they used to. All of this let me change my life, who I am, and my business to better help other people do the same thing for them. I help other neurodivergent entrepreneurs design businesses that help them be happy, help them lift other people up instead of, you know, being stressful and burned out all the time, actually delivering that lifestyle and that, that default high level of happiness that we're really all striving for. And I have pretty amazing partners like Melanie Branch and Victoria Caldwell that bring their expertise to all of our students at the Neurospacy Academy. And it has been amazing to be able to combine our knowledge in a way that is a friendly, supportive, uplifting community, courses, training, resources, masterminding, everything that you need to be able to succeed and create a sustainable, successful, you know, empire as an entrepreneur. And I am so grateful to be able to do a free tier at the Academy now. So you can find that in the place with the things if you want to sign up. If you think that you might want to be an entrepreneur or you are an entrepreneur and you're not happy with what your life is and the level of stress and burnout that you have in your life, that is exactly what we help you do. And it is so exciting not just to get the big outcomes, but to actually enjoy the journey. I'm happier now than I ever have been, and I want to help other people find that kind of happiness in their lives too. So what about you? Are you as happy in this point in your life as you thought you would be? And no shame if you're not. It took me 17 years to realize I wasn't, and that realization was the catalyst that I needed to make the changes. 
So if this is the journey that you're on, smash that follow, go check out the links in the places, and hopefully I'll see you over at the Neurospicy Academy if being an entrepreneur is something that you think might be right for you.